Hello, my friends. Continuing with this modeling project, I am building the multi-part project, series of videos if you will, related to the Incredible Fury 2014 film. This fifth part is related to 6x4 truck crew prots, KFZ, 70, personal carrier, in scale 1 to 35 from Tamiya. The following project is inspired by real and imaginary events. This is the box of the 6x4 truck crew prots, KFZ, 70, personal carrier, in scale 1 to 35 from Tamiya, and it includes the driver and two infantry figures. The box includes the manuals of the 10 steps model kit, and some other papers too. Decals, a clear plastic part, sprue and an enameled wire, to depict the barbed wire. However, instead of this wire, I will use my own. Everything seems beautiful and of high quality, with many details. Let's go cutting and then smoothing out the parts, with the hobby knife, file, and, or, sandpaper. When needed, using the hobby knife carefully in the opposite direction, to avoid cutting or damaging the parts. Attention! Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Also, unless I will mention otherwise, I will be doing two coatings, and one will be off camera. Gluing? Placing the seats. Assembling the engine.
did some work on the chassis, off camera, attaching the engine. Same for this axis. Attaching the cabin. Exhaust system. Off camera, assembled the system, gluing, placed off camera and keep placing the rest of the suspension and axis systems. Did some work off camera and keep on gluing. Engine hood. Already placed the steering wheels column. Gluing. Assembling the cargo area. Did some work, off camera. Keep on going.
All these details done off camera. Combining. gluing different kinds of boxes and cans, here and there. German Panzer Grey Primer After the first coating, I decided to place my own barbed wire. Scale 1 to 35 of course. Super gluing. Continuing with the primer. German grey mixed with couple drops of Panzer Dark Grey and airbrushing. Same mix, but darkened it just a bit, in order to do some details, in the darker parts of the truck. Rubber and tires, painting.
Off camera, painted the barbed wire with dungeon gray and these wooden parts with hull red. Gunmetal gray painting and will finish off camera. Painting with black. Mix of burnt umber and cocky brown. Painting. Painting with a mix of sand yellow and US flat brown. Since the truck will be placed in a related diorama, I will do almost nothing on the bottom, except this part of the exhaust system that I did with old rust. Cocky painting. Mecha gloss varnish airbrushing. Doing so has many positives, such as the placement of decals and the washing. After things have dried, MIGS decal set. Before placing the decals in MIGS decal fix, afterwards, the first prepares the surface, and the second takes care of any curves, bumps, etc. Pressing with a cotton swab to take away the excess air or liquids below the decal without damaging it. Decal fix. 
Depending on the decal's placement, you may need to coat twice. Masking tape on the windscreen and enamel dark washing. This specific dark wash is preferred because in case that a mistake will come up or something, using this enamel odorless thinner, you can fix it. Finish these wooden parts off camera. Although, I will do weathering effects on the tires, still, I think it's better to wash them first. accidentally broke this mirror. We'll fix it after the washing. Fixing the washing mistakes using the enamel odorless thinner.
gunmetal gray here and there to highlight a few things. Fine sand and wet ground medium density mud splashes. Mixing. If, when, the mix becomes thicker than you wish, you can always use enamel thinner to correct it. Painting.
dark earth pigment mixed with acrylic thinner. Same mix, and using a brush and the airbrush, we'll sprinkle like so. Keep in mind what I said at the beginning of the video. I am building a multi-part project inspired by the incredible Fury 2014 film and the 6x4 truck crew prots will be placed in a related diorama. Hopefully, you like the project and you will enjoy the presentation. Since I am a new to this amazing art, please do share your words of wisdom in the comments below. the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more Fury-inspired content, as well as for more scale modeling videos.
Thanks for watching.